Uh, it's been a lot of hard work, especially from behind the scenes. Uh, Brock and I didn't even realize how much hard work we went into this until we actually arrived here in Calgary. To watch these ladies and, and the group uh, behind the scenes work day in and day out, literally day in and day out, and night and night and day and night, um, it was unbelievable. And uh, once again, we're just honored to be here. We look forward to continuing this event throughout the years and, and uh, continue to grow into this massive, massive event. Um, very thankful that for everybody's here. I uh, want to kind of end on a quote as well as Christine is quoting a uh, beautiful quote as well, but uh, this is a quote from uh, a Canadian out of uh, BC, uh, Peter Quist of Quist Condition, and says, Today I will give everything I have. What I keep inside, I will lose forever. And from this day on out, this team, the rest of us, will give everything we have each day because it is what we keep inside we will lose forever. Thank you. Awesome. That's great. That's great words of inspiration, kids. I uh, look forward to his reading your video blogs along the way. And uh, I'm going to introduce right now to here, Mr. Bob Hawksworth, please. Give him a big welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Don. I'm delighted to be here with uh, these leaders and uh, folks who are inspiring all of us. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to stand on stage as them. They're about to begin what I suspect is the adventure of a lifetime, uh, traveling 4,000 kilometers on a good bus for uh, people who may never know them personally and may never know where the help came from when they they just know that the Red Cross came into their lives when they were in a dis desperate situation and uh, the Red Cross was there to help when they needed help. They wouldn't know where the money came from necessarily and they wouldn't know that the people behind me were the inspiration with you in making those things happen on behalf of the Red Cross. So I think it's very significant that you're here today on a beautiful Sunday morning to give them the fine, great kickoff that Calgary is so famous for. And so we're uh, as proud, I would think, to say as Calgarians that these leaders and uh, inspirers and mentors are here to leave from Calgary as their starting point. And they're, as they across the country and into the states and down into California, they will be taking Calgary with them in a very real way. And so it's my privilege this morning to make sure that when they go, they are duly sworn in as Calgarians, right? And how do we do that? Yeah, okay. So, we have a little uh, tradition uh, here in Calgary in uh, bestowing deputy ship on uh, posses at uh, <laughs> head out from Calgary on our behalf, carrying the uh, Calgary reputation. And we would uh, like to have you become honorary Calgarians and receive Calgary's great internationally renowned symbol, the Red Boy Hat. But to have you uh, take an oath. Sort of like an oath of office. Okay? So, in order to be ambassadors, for another Red Cross ambassadors for Calgary. I'm going to ask you to uh, raise your right hand and play after me. I. I. You mean? So <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's start all over there. I. I. Feel so all right. Having visited. Having visited. The only genuine Western. Namely Calvary, and having been duly treated to exceptional amounts of heartwarming, knee slapping, back back patting, bike fundraising, generous donating. Western spirit, Western spirit, do solemnly promise, do solemnly promise 
to spread this here brand of hospitality to all folks and critters who cross my trail hereafter. Okay, Calgary, on the count of three, let's welcome our new Calgarians. One, two, three. They do some amazing work and they are passionate about what they do. 